Welcome back to HKIBC News. Frustrations are rising as Canadian truckers block key traffic arteries across the country for another day. Not only have they vowed to stay, they're sparking similar protests around the world. When the Wong reports. This was the scene at Blue Water Bridge, where truckers trying to cross the U.S.-Canadian border found themselves stuck for hours on end. Many of them have been forced to make a detour and come here, after some of their peers blocked the Ambassador Bridge between Michigan and Ontario. The bridge is a major artery that carries around 25 percent of all trade between the two countries. Uh, well, they're saying it's five to six hours to cross. But I, I'm not really sure that the, uh, the blockade is justified. I have different feelings uh, either way. I think there's a lot more issues that they need to be dealing with. For nearly two weeks, demonstrations have been sprouting up all across Canada. They began in the country's capital, Ottawa, where truck drivers brought traffic to a standstill over a vaccine mandate. Officials are growing increasingly frustrated as the rallies bring multiple sectors to a halt. I want to be clear. Those participating in the convoy are hurting Canadians. They pose serious dangers for the economy and they are breaking the law. And no one is above the law. This blockade is forcing some factories to send workers home. It's interfering with Canadians' ability to earn a living and access essential goods, including food from grocery stores. And to be honest, I find it ironic that the same people who were trying to sell Canadians fake stories about empty shelves are now the ones causing these shelves to go empty. But unfaced protesters show no signs of moving. In fact, they've sparked similar action from people around the world. Plans for similar blockades stretching from California to Washington are gaining momentum. And in New Zealand, police began descending on protesters today after a demonstration around Parliament, inspired by the Canadians, entered its third day. Winnawong HKIBC. War clouds are hovering in Eastern Europe as the United States sent troops to Poland in the wake of potential conflict between Russia and Ukraine. The Pentagon, meanwhile, is pressing ahead with a plan to evacuate Americans in Ukraine with the help of soldiers. If things work out the way they should, there'll be no reason uh, for them to handle any evacuees because there won't have been an invasion, another invasion by Mr. Putin and Russian military forces. And even if that is the course that happens, another invasion, um, if Americans are listening, listening carefully and following the guidance by the State Department and by the President of the United States, they, they should be leaving now. They, they should have been leaving before now. It's not a military conflict zone right now, and there's no reason why it should. Around 1,000 U.S. troops began arriving in Romania as Washington tried to bolster NATO's eastern flank while amassing at least 130,000 troops along its border with Ukraine. Russia has repeatedly denied plans of an invasion. Washington and its allies have since been arming Kiev, whose aspiration to join NATO rattled Russia's relations with the West. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken reiterated that any Russian aggression will result in massive consequences. The world's largest assembler of Apple's iPhones revealed that shortages for electronic components are showing signs of easing. Taiwanese firm Han High Precision Industry, which trades under the name of Foxconn, predicted a major improvement in the first quarter. Overall supply constraints could ease in the second half of the year, it added. There's been a global scramble for computer chips over the past year as demand rose for products ranging from smartphones to cars amid the COVID pandemic. Now let's take a look at the markets. The Hansen Index closed up 94 points. Top 10 active stocks, Tencent up $1.60, Wuxi Biologics down $3.30, Alibaba up $3.40, and China Mobile down $1.60. Meituan up $3.80, Kuaishou Technology down $0.15, cents, and CCB down a cent. 
Forex trading against Hong Kong dollar, euro is trading at 8.91, British pound at 10.58, Canadian dollar at 6.15, and Australian dollar at 5.61. Over to the UK market, FTSE 100 is up 20 points. On to the weather now, tomorrow will be mainly cloudy with sunny intervals. Temperatures will range between 16 and 20 degrees. There will be mist on Saturday, while cloudy with a few rain patches on Sunday. Now let's take a look at the weather around the world. That's our main news for this Thursday night. Join us for more news at 11. I'm Sarah Wong. Thank you for joining us. Stay safe and take care.